Good morning. Um, I'm very thankful and elated to be here. I'm thankful for the Princeton Prize, the entire association, the idea that has been um, stirred up in everybody to help race relations and help diversity. A little background on what we did. In my community, there's, um, there's we combine Maplewood and South Orange, New Jersey, and it's a community of upper, upper middle class, blacks and whites, and then there's also lower middle class. There's a huge range, and we have a volleyball game every year, and you're able to design your own t-shirts and design your own team. There's one team that decided that their team name would be between the Rednecks and I Love the South. They were, they, um, they were allowed to go with I Love the South, which um, had an undertone and a, a had a derogatory meaning, but nobody knew it at the beginning. So when the volleyball tournament actually came around, they decided to wear shirts that said Dixie since the 60s and slavery with the smiley face and it had like emancipation with the X on it. Um, it fueled the school in a lot of different ways because of our school being over 50% African American or, or of African descent. Um, it caused a lot of tension in our school and we decided that we would make a club called Diversity Rocks. Oh, sorry. The, um, it also had, their main theme was about the Mason-Dixon line and promoting it. Um, if nobody knows, it was Charles Dixon and uh, Jeremiah, sorry, Charles Mason and Jeremiah Dixon, who um, they were coined with the line that would divide the northeastern part of the um, United States and the southern parts to um, promote slavery. And so we decided that we were going to um, counteract the t-shirts and have kind of a peaceful movement and have shirts that said diversity rocks on the front. And we also wear bracelets every day that says diversity rocks because that's something that we were really passionate about. And on the back of our shirts, it said one race equals human. So after that, all we did was we worked really hard to promote um, diversity in our school and the flawed system of like stratification and the um, and so through our mission statement, which is being diverse in sexual orientation, in race, gender, um, socioeconomic background, we decided that we would have Diversity Rocks, which would, um, which would counteract the bullying, I guess, in a way, that we had at our school through t-shirts. It wasn't seen as bullying, and there was no, there was, um, there was, the boys weren't reprimanded in any way, so we decided that um, Diversity Rocks would be the best way. So far, we have had, um, assemb well, we're having an assembly on May 2nd, which will be a combination of our anti-bullying, because we're our, on our school, we're coined as a bully-free zone on the side of the school, that's what it says. And, well, that's what it used to say, that's what it used to say until uh, people also um, changed that, and they changed it to like a rusher-free zone, and they've done a lot of things that's kind of fueled tension in our school. So um, through Diversity Rocks, we're having an assembly that will be for anti-bullying and promoting diversity in both the school and the community as a whole. Um, I was asked yesterday, what is the correlation between poor race relations and bullying? And I said, my answer was ignorance. And it was ignorance what was what was fueled and the act of arrogance on how the people who did this thought that it was okay and acceptable in the community to basically backtrack everything that we've done to have such a such a community that could coexist, but then in a way be one of the most segregated, diverse schools. So um, I am one of the I'm one of the leaders. Unfortunately, the founder is not here, but I give her lots of shout outs and I commend I commend her for all the works that she's doing in our community and all the things that we're doing to help one another. We're trying to get um, another assembly that will also be, like what Stephanie said, we're going to do the Make a Change kind of day. We want to have a field day that, although a field, although a field day would be kind of, um, it'll be interactive and it'll be physical, we want to have a field day that could help us to coexist and actually go along the words of coexisting. The teams will be, um, constructed of different colors, and your objective is you have to you have to mingle with a different color, 
and not just based off your, not based off race, but based off the color of the t-shirt that you're wearing so that you can get out of your shell, get out of your shell and develop closer relationships with people that you are closer to than different from. So um, I hope that this Princeton Prize in race relations can go on forever and ever. I don't want it to go on forever and ever because I want this to be solved, but ultimately it might not be able to, but thankfully to all 25 of us, I believe there's 25, and shout out to people who went home early. Um, I'm thankful for all the things that we're doing in our communities to help one another, to build up one another, and the positive atmospheres that we have around us. So thank you all, and uh, have a nice day.